Hello and welcome back to Bucks County with me, Mr. Sim Gamer. I hope you're incredibly well today. So, here we go, Bucks County. Um, you're probably going to guess why I'm up here, and I'm going to make a lot of big changes. And the reason is, we got blessed with a creative mesh mod which is just fabulous and I want it I want it quite simply put I want it um uh, with all of the straw that we are going to be collecting why not get the beast that is the straw harvest pack so what can we do to get it I'm um, there was I'm in two minds about moving this actually not moving removing so that's one option um second option is to sell some more things we do have a lot of things as you know so if we were to have a look through um the building's 100 and 175 thousand i think so we do need quite a lot uh so if i was to look at this we have a lot of trailers. We don't need this many trailers. We just don't. Um, this one can definitely go. I need to see which trailer I've used for... I think it's just the green one that I've used. Yeah, it is. So, we're going to... Let's sell the other one. So we'll sell this one. I'm already up to 156,000 just because of all of those things. That's just amazing. Uh, bell loaders, I... I'll keep that for a minute. I'm probably, I'm going to end up getting a different baler, which is ridiculous because I only just purchased this baler. Um, gosh, it is all so much to think about. I don't like those plows, so I'm going to sell that. And I'm probably not going to use the silo again. So I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to keep that. That's full of water at the moment. But worst case scenario, I could... I could... Um, Worst case scenario, I could sell the truck. That wouldn't be that would be quite a bit of extra money. So let's head over back over to the barns. Which is over this way. Look at these lovely weeds. How delicious. And uh, nice thing is this is ready to be bailed up as well. We do hay. We do hay pellets. Um right. Let's have a look at this now. So, question is, do we want to put it over there and get rid of the pigs and the pigsty? We don't have any pigs yet, so it's not a big move. Or should we put it in the middle? So this is quite a large area. Oops, gosh, I keep pressing the wrong buttons today. So let's have a look. Let's go to construction menu. Let's go to production. It is the production version that I want. And here it is. So it does fit in here. Um, why is it snapping like that though? I don't want it to snap like that. Which way? So that's the entrance. See, we don't own that field there. And even if we did, I could create a little pass through or I could put it over here and get rid of the pigsty this is the neatest location for it I don't know why it's snapping though why are you snapping um is there a turn on? let me go help on I'm hoping there is a yeah talk snapping off there we go Hmm. 
Why is that being a little bit tricky? Oh gosh! I don't want it there! Oh, thank goodness. It's giving me all the money back. Alright. I'm trying to rotate it without the... Toggle free mode. Hmm. Snappy, snappy. So, I think my best bet is actually just to put it here. So then, I can just walk in. Oh my gosh, this building is gorgeous. I love it so much. Look at this! Oh, I love it so much. Okay, so only issue is the ground colour has come in. Um, let me see if I can change that. So first things first, I need to turn this back to dirt. Let's make this much bigger. I've been meaning to make this dirt again as well so that's one thing and then can I get in here yes I can good how far are they not quite the same is it not quite the same texture But it is better than it was. It's a slightly different flooring, but mm. also we need to get rid of this tree behind. Now, is this in my... Is this mine or not? Oh, we're getting lucky. Okay, yep. We're lucky. So this is now our beautiful new building. Uh, so... We don't just need the building though, we need the we need the kit. We need the kit. And this is where things are going to really get expensive and I do think we're going to have to get rid of the truck. I do. Um, and I, that's not necessarily a bad thing to be honest. So let's sell the truck. Let's sell the tanker. What, what do I, I have a front loader, don't I? I'm probably going to end up getting the new um, attachment for the front loader. The other thing is this animal mixer. I could just get a much smaller mixer. But that's push come to shove moment. I've got stone picker. Do I even have stones on, on this map? I do. Okay, that's fine. Just couldn't remember. Um, the summer mulcher. I'm going to sell that roller. Gosh, okay. Um, I'm going to sell the forage wagon. All right, so we've now got 350,000 in the bank account. So let's go back to this pack. So the big question is, how do I want to process things? Do I want to use the static conveyor belt um, that holds the bells, then churns it into um, pellets? Maybe. Or do I want to manage everything loose and then scoop it up into... The processor so if i do loose i need to pop it in here and scoop it up as it needs it and they all goes into this bit, bit in here 
which then pushes all the pellets in, down, bags, processes and pallets and wraps until we get the final product at the end. Um, or we can bale it, bring the bales in and do it that way. And I saw Scroft quite cleverly move the static um, pellet maker into the back here. And that worked really well. So I think I'm more inclined to do that. I really like the setup that he had. So that was... It was the bale shredder. Gosh, okay, right, now I really need to think about this. So I don't want that one. That's the bell click. That goes onto the back and puts three in a row, which is really cool. Um... Then... Is this the one which... So that makes it loose. That's got 9,000 litre capacity. I think I'm going to go for this one with the bell collect. But I will also need... So we attach that on with bell collect. But I'd also need that, wouldn't I? Because that you attach the bell attachment to the side of this, I think. I think. Yeah. So what happens is, if you want to, if I wanted to do it that way, I would use this bad boy attach it to this one and then have this as a static baler or a static shredder to put straight into my container um that's a really expensive way of doing it it'd be a fun way of doing it but it's too expensive for now so I'm going to have to pick everything up loose until I can afford it. So I need to save up another 300 and let's say 320, 350, yeah 380. Okay, so I'm going to do manually for this. Beautiful. Okay, so we are going for the loose pickup. So it takes in the loose straw or hay and turns them into pellets, and we're going to put it in loose. Um, my next job, I need to go grab a, a, a tractor. I think I'm going to bring this uh, new one over. I think we'll have a lot more movability. I do know that the horsepower is quite high on this. So let me just check out the horsepower situation. Where are we? Um, oh gosh, I'm in the wrong menu again. So the horsepower on this bad boy is 350. So let me just triple check this one can do it. Where's my horsepower? Yeah, 445. Perfect. So the bales here right now um they will not go in 
I'm going to leave these bales that are already wrapped. They're going to go and live with and be with the cows. They're going to be bedding. I think they always were going to be bedding. We do have to get the straw. Uh, we do need to get the harvest done today. We've got quite a lot of fields to do. I think this is probably going to be split into a couple of episodes. And I'm just going to record one after the other. Um, so you can just see my complete gameplay. Excellent. Okay, so... Right, I need, I'm need. i just going to unfold it because I need to add in a couple of things. I need to add in water and I need to add in, I think it's molestus, I think it's called. So let's, uh, I should be pressing that. I find it easier just to go straight to the pack. So we would like, please... So we don't need the netting. We don't need... We will need... No, we won't need twine either, will we? Don't need twine. We don't need net. All we need is this bad boy. How much is that? Oh, that's not too bad, is it? And I need some water, but what I'm going to do... Do I have... Did I install a water point up this way? Don't think I did. So I'm just going to install a water point. I'm probably at the side of this. Actually, that building is not looking that great. I need to level that up. Let's just do a tiny little bit of soften here. That's a bit better. Okay, good. Right, I need to have a look for water. Decent water point. Oh, I thought I had some installed on this one. That should work. I'm going to pop that right there. Just going to re landscape that bottom bit there a minute. Uh, trees, no. Painting, yes. Refill or fill, not actually re anything at the moment. So you need molestus and you need the water to create the pallets on the fly. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to go back across the grass. I know it's not ideal to be driving across our grass. Um, and then we are going to get um, one of our harvesters on course play. And we're going to go up behind it and pick up the straw. We also need to put down the cell point. And I'm thinking the cell point should be by the street. 
so people can just come and buy it. Um, so this is the one I think we're going to do up here actually. So let me just park up there, I'll just turn the engine off. Yes, so the sell point, um, productions, buildings, productions, yeah, sell point. Sell point's quite cute to be honest. It's, uh, no, not that one. It's this one here. So it's a bit like an honesty box. So let me find my... This is what I was thinking, is having it at the entrance or and or exit. Thought that was quite a nice idea. Just do a tiny bit of landscaping around that to make it a little less harsh. Uh, painting, yes, let's do a tiny bit. Um, A lot of mud coming off the edge there, which is not not great, but uh, yeah, roll with it, guys. Roll with it with me. <laughs> okay. Just re put down a tiny bit of asphalt. Just tidy that little bit up and make it look like. It's something and oh gosh what happened there didn't mean to do that at all um oh that acts as a building now by the looks of it uh, a, a vehicle sorry and what I was thinking is just adding a little um just a little bit of decoration over there as well just to make it a little bit more oh gosh I've lost my I've lost my way now right up here behind the cows and here we are yeah I was just thinking of adding a little bit more to this area um maybe even a little support your local farm sign yeah And thinking, not a quarterly. A little wooden bench for someone who's uh, sitting there selling, maybe. Just a little bit of extra, you know? American flag, American made, and all that. And a uh, little the white farm. I really like that sign. Just a little something to make it a little bit more, you know. Feel a little bit more like something. I did really want the this area to be like a nice talking point for the for the community. And uh, just put a little bit nicer shed there. So that they can lock away all the money. So yes, this is the new little sell point. Um anyway, we really need to get started. I'm faffing around doing cute stuff. Right, what do we have in here? A lot of oats. A lot, a lot, a lot of oats. So, I'm not going to worry about that for now. Um, I think we should get the fence working this field. It's got slightly wider header. Hoping that that will speed things up. 
it's not too dissimilar. The, the class one. Right, I'm just going to do the first little tiny bit. And then we have the same problem with this field as we do the other, but thankfully it's corn. So it shouldn't affect too much. <laughs> Which is a huge relief. Uh, right, let's go to here. Let's go create jobs. Let's do this. Open. So we do have 11 meter wide. We only have the one tool and I would like them to do two headlands. Start to work on the headlands and it is a nice smooth. I'm going to do quite a big overlap. Um... I'm not going to bother with skipping rows or anything like that. Just go straight on to... The ball game. Right. Oopsie. Let me just see if that's done because I am in the wrong spot. There we go. Okay, so are we happy with that? It looks a bit messy, but... Maybe I should do... Um... Let me look at what three headlands would look like. That's a bit better, I think. And hopefully it doesn't mess up too much. <laughs> uh, it really is down to... The thing that does cause issues is the trees so we'll have to keep an eye on that but we are going to jump in this beauty for the very first time why are you going that way dude like that's not a headland that's a I'm just going to do whatever the devil I like land gosh okay oh my this tractor is struggling oh gosh and it has 400 odd horsepower and we're going 6 miles an hour okay I'll have a look at the John Deere that we have as well and see whether that would perform better see it's already stuck over there Come on. Right, let's get back here. And let's uh let's get the course play up. So nearest waypoint, let's have a quick look actually. These are waypoints. So we should be going. It's not. stop you from working for a second and let's have a look at this again so create job yes start job do 
I'm just gonna hire a normal person worker because this is it's getting too annoying. Course plays amazing when it works. Not so much when it doesn't. We have so much work to do, I just don't have time for it. I'm sure it would be a really simple thing, which I've done wrong. But we're already 30 minutes into this episode and I really want us to get started. On getting some pellets in at least. Okay, why on earth have you done that? Oh no, 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 oh no. That was me thinking. All sorted. You know what? I'm just gonna follow this harvester to make sure no drama happens. Not sure why it stopped there. It may be because of the tree is too close. Where you go, head left. At the moment, this is better than nothing. I can pick up quite a bit. Just turn that off. Let's go pick up this little bit. Yeah, it must be the tree that was getting in the way here. I think my next thing is going to be to chop down some trees and do some wood chips. These trees just are very annoying. So I think we'll do some logging. Clear the edges so it's much easier for the harvester to negotiate. And then I'll put a purposeful plantation somewhere right I'm just going to take this 96% I'm going to drive straight through This is a super tractor to drive. We're reversing into tight spots. This this is what you want. Okay, actually I'm gonna need to pull the pipe out now and then reverse back because that's gonna help otherwise. Okay. 
and please forgive me, I want to take a, a photo of this. This is very cool. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm like a child at Christmas. I like how it's taking, it took a nice amount of time to unload as well. I really like that. Look. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so happy right now. I'm so, so happy right now. There we go, guys. It's our first... It's our first proper production chain in motion right here, right now. We had to sell a lot to get this, but I think you'll agree with me when I say it is, it's going to be worth it. Especially when we start doing hay pellets. That's where we'll earn much more substantial money. But yes, I'm loving this. I'm looking forward to the first pellet coming out. Is it one more level? Hopefully we should have enough, because they're 50 litres per bag. And we had a hopper full of 9,000. Gosh, this is creative mesh. Congratulations. I mean, this is just beautiful. I'm, I'm actually forgetting that I'm in a game. That's how good this mod is. And it's nice, Bucks County has now become exciting to play. I felt like I was coasting a little bit. But this is, this is super cool. Look how big that pile is now. <gasps> and there's our first pallet. <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. Now, how much is left in here? Uh, oh, let's get that back up. So there's still 3,400 litres. So there's nine minutes worth of Actually, let me just very quickly check if this is... Yeah, I had a feeling that it was going to be nearly full. Let's get this bad boy over there. That was weird timing. I just sometimes get a really weird sense of when things are going to be ready. Right, these are narrows, so I'm pretty happy about driving over this. It's a big harvest, guys. This is such a big harvest. We've got a lot to do. I've put it on real time now, so that I don't overshoot okay there we go so 
turn that engine off and run back over here. So I'm going to move this pallet. I'm going to try and use the crane. It looks a lot of fun. I do have a uh, front loader, which I can start to use as well. I'm just going to try the crane. Uh, enter vehicle. not sure if I'm gonna be any good at this but do you know what you don't try if you don't try you don't know ah. okay right brain engage oh second pallet's ready Okay, so now I need to. Do I need to put it down? That's it. Okay, I was hoping it was going to go over the edge. Am I using the wrong tool? Do I need to do it that way around? Not that one. definitely not that one. I'm just going to need to move this out of the way. Why why is it not swimming back? We do that then. It's not letting me toggle the, the mode again. It's a bit weird. Let me try that again. It's not letting me change the mode. It's because it's too low. Bubble crane mode, no it's not working. Oh gosh, what have I done there? Not sure what I did there. And what sort of grab is that? Do we do we think that this could do the job? Okay, that's wider. Right. Now can that go wider then? So that's So I need it to go and now I need okay, it's not letting me go left or right. Is that as far over as it'll go? Up, up down. That is all the way over now.
This is such a brain screw. Right, now if I close them. And they'll lift it up. Is that going to work? <laughs> Ooh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Right, now I need to sort of spin it. Ah! There we go, spin. That's up, that's down. That spin. Spin it all around. Probably have it that way. Now I need it to come back here. Can't really see what I'm doing back here. So I'm just going to have to trust that I've done it. Oh, there we go. a better camera angle. Now unsqueeze it. Lift it. Well we did it! <laughs> that was quite painful, I'm very aware. But we did it! I'm super chuffed could turn that off um nope that's the wrong one wrong tracker oh, shit. <laughs> i think it was like seven minutes i was my brain was like uh what what am i doing here i really really couldn't get my head around that at all right empty yourself oh dear me and uh, me and the Fent keep arguing. For some reason, me and the Fent aren't getting on. <laughs> Last thing I want to do with you guys today is we're going to go and take this oat over to the production chain. And uh, we're going to start our bakery process. So we're going to head on through here, and I've just got the Omatana um, uh, production chain at the moment. I probably will think about getting something a little bit more substantial. A proper bakery. But for the cost and what it does, you cannot beat this. Okay, let's get that all tipped in. Oh, is it at capacity? I think that might be at capacity. Yeah, it is. Wow, okay. So we're going to turn this on and we're going to set this to distributing and turn bread on. Um, Yes, I think that is the plan, Stan. I've never made cereal in this game. I never have. So I would really like to do it, but it's all down to the raisins, which is the problem. That's, I was doing, if you remember, I was doing grapes in the first version of Bucks County before there was a game update and I decided to switch strategies. So if I do think about doing that again, I, I would need to really think about it it's a huge investment in equipment and that equipment I just do not have at the moment but anyway I hope you've enjoyed this episode it's been super exciting for me to start using the new pellet pack um, or the straw pack I should say I just, I just think it's absolutely wonderful. Such a beautiful mod. 
so inventive, so creative, and look, we've already got three palettes full. I just think that is just amazing. Um, I need to pick this up. So in the next episode, I will probably get a front loader attacher and start moving some things around. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use the front loader. That crane in my mind was going the complete opposite way that I was telling it to. But of course it wasn't. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for being here. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. I'll see you in the next episode.